Hello, I'm Len Hend. Welcome to Speed Painting Number 1. These lessons have been designed to teach a particular method of painting Australian landscapes in oils or acrylic. If you follow my step-by-step -step instructions, you will learn to paint a beautiful landscape in a reasonable amount of time and with a reasonable amount of effort. The lessons have been designed for beginners. So I'll clean my brush, pick up some burnt umber and put it right in the very corner, right in the corner and blend it up into the white. That's one brush stroke there will do. Clean the brush. You can do it with a knife or you can do it with a brush. Just like this, down towards the water. It's only a little railway line and again. And of course it gets further apart as it comes towards us. Now for the clouds. I have my old round hog bristle brush and I have some white on one side, that's all and a few clouds. So all you need to do with the clouds is draw an O. Well it's a C, o. it's not an O, it's a C. Mm. And we put them on like that and then brush them in. So let's try that to start with. Then with plenty of dark paint on your brush, paint in what would be the reflections here. Just like that, we'll take them right down there. If you're painting in oils, you might want to leave this white paint off here because it becomes too thick. If you're painting in oil, you might want to scrape it off if you've got white paint there. There. That's about where the reflections are. And have a very dark butt on your tree. Now with a little round brush with our colours loaded, we can paint in our branches. Pull them in facing towards the house. That brings the eye around the picture. One here, here. Try and have a few branches crossing, like that one. And this one comes into the picture also. We can add some white on these too. A little bit of a white line also. As well as a blue line. If you hold your brush like that, this is easy. It works every time. And put it right where the water's coming off the first rock. Pull it down, up, down, down, up. It works in oils and acrylic. Pull it down, down, and across. And touch up the bank. Dark line, white line underneath, and a few ripples. They're slightly blue, those ripples, that's okay. Now I think a little bit of foliage along there to correct the perspective, keep that straight. Fill in a few spots, give it a little bit of character with a bit of foliage here and there. 